eternity ago, but what were your takeaways and impressions of the scrimmage uh, that unfortunately we missed last week? Yeah, uh, yeah you know, like a normal first scrimmage, there, there was some good, some bad, a lot of things we need to work on. Um, just overall, it was good seeing guys compete for jobs. I think, you know, especially with a young team, that you start to build an understanding of all these practices, especially scrimmages, really matter. It, it's You're putting on tape where you want to be and what you want to do. It's not, not about talking about it or anything else. It's go, go put it on tape. So I think we we saw some of that in that scrimmage. Some guys learned more from that just, just coming out of that scrimmage now through this week. And then um, you know, we're going to go scrimmage again tomorrow. And, and I, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll be better in a lot of areas and make the improvements that we need to make. Do you see any separation yet at quarterback? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's – no big proclamations on quarterback. Those guys are all doing a good job. I really I feel good about where we're at at the position. And we're, we're, we continue to put them in different situations in practice to see how, how they're going to respond and handle it. And, uh, you know, they're doing well. Those guys at Timberland, they're, they're competing. They're, there's, there's good competition, and I think they're making each other better. Do you know when you want to make a, a name a starter? Um, sometime before the first series of the Texas game. We'll, we'll figure out who's going to jog out there with, with the ones. and. Uh, you know, that's it. Like I said before, those guys will do it. They'll decide it on the field. And, you know, so no, I'm not stuck to any certain date or time. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't just, just keep practicing, keep getting better. How much more uh, important, intense will tomorrow's scrimmage be compared to a week ago? Do you, I mean, do you want it ratcheted up because you're getting closer to the opening? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll kind of build up more as a, as a game day type atmosphere environment. That's it's really the last big scrimmage we'll have until you know that's that's two weeks out from. Game one, and we'll continue to practice and do things and have certain periods of practice that are um, at same tempo, but not a full scrimmage again. So it's, it's big. DJ, how have you seen the, I guess, the running back depth kind of play out? I guess you have, you know, obviously Ty and Lolo, but it, I mean, is Funk and, and McFarland, are they making moves or any of the freshmen that you guys have? It, the, the freshmen are all extremely talented, really good football players, but, you know, they still do things as freshmen sometimes, which you'd expect. I think when you look at, at Ty and Lolo and Jake, I think you have three proven players that are, you know, as good as anyone in the conference, I believe. So, you know, it's 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 a good mix. I mean, those, those guys doing a good job of being leaders and bringing the younger guys along. I think we have really good depth of position. We're gonna, you know, um, have roles for all those guys and you, you know, utilize as many as we can. They're, they're all really good football players. Can you assess the tight end position in your offense and specifically, you know, how Derek's been progressing in year two under your staff? Derek's doing great. He, he's really working hard at being a leader and. Just um, understanding the position and, and, and how he fits in our scheme, so we're, we're really excited about where, where Derek's at, and you know he, he's the he's the one at that spot. But we're, we're going we're gonna to use a lot of those guys. I mean, you know, Avery's doing really good. He's progressing, coming along really well. He, he's a talented guy, and then uh, Noah Barnes is another guy that, that we're counting on. He's going to play a lot, and then we have some good versatility at the position. And how have you seen the two deep on both lines start to develop? Are you seeing guys now starting to win spots in the, in the depth where you were looking? At? Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. I really like our depth on the defensive line. I think we're more than two deep over there with guys that we feel are, can play and really help us win. And on the offensive line, it's going good. There's good competition. There's there's some freshmen that are, that are creeping up there. That, that, you know, Marcus Miner, Johnny Jordan, uh, Jordan McNair. Yeah, those guys are, like, really good football players. For a freshman to, you know, be in the mix at, at the line of scrimmage, it's – they, they got to be, be pretty darn good. I mean, that's that's probably the hardest position, I think, right away to, to come in and play. Um, but, but those guys are fighting their way in there in the, into the two deep. And, you know, so if you're in the two deep, you're, you're a play away from playing. Is Shane's situation the same? Yeah, Sh Shane, he's doing well. I mean, it's, it's still day to day. We're, we're going to treat that that way. I think, um, you know, Shane's doing everything that's asked of him. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of him where he's at to this point. But, We'll continue to make that day to day, and he's he's practicing, doing well. He's with, with our team full time right now. Hopefully, it stays that way. DJ, are you guys at a, the stage yet where you're starting a game plan for Texas, or um, have you been doing that incrementally throughout the summer? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, we spend time on all our opponents throughout the summer and, and build game plans, do do studies, and um, but we're not you know, we're not doing like, plays against Texas right now. I mean, we're, we're still focused on ourselves. We, we got a lot we got to work on, improve on, and uh, so the, the focus is still on us. Who's standing at the return game right now? Kick and yeah, I mean, you know, DJ Moore's really solid back there, that punt returner, and, and uh, as well as Tavon, and, and we got Lolo back there, and then it, it, the kick returner, you know, again, DJ Tavon, Jaquil Bay is, is doing a good job. I think he can really help us back there. Ty Johnson's in the mix at, um, you know, kickoff return. Um, you know, 
and then Javon Leakes, another guy, a freshman, that I think can really help us back there. So I like we have a good mix of guys back there. I think we have some, some really good answers for guys to, to, to be fresh and, and help us in the return game. Jay, how have you seen J.C. Jackson grow in his time here since transfer? Yeah, it's, it's been tremendous. It's been really fun for me to, to see him be part of it. I'm, you know, known and been recruiting JC since he was about a sophomore in high school, and so to, to see his maturity and his growth has been, you know, it's really what coaching is all about. And uh, so, you know, he, he's having his best, you know, really you go back to, to spring ball and now, he's having his best couple months of his life, I believe, of, of just being accountable, doing what he's supposed to do, working hard. He's extremely talented and gifted. That's always been there. He's really understanding what it takes to be big time guy now and uh, you know I think you'll see it carry over to this season. And, and do you think adding a, you know some depth to the secondary and you know so obviously some big time recruits on the return of, of Denzel uh, do you think that that is helping kind of push JC and motivate him for his second year here? It sure plays into it I mean I think you know the best motivator is always competition I mean, you try and create that as a coach but it, it's when you, when you have you know depth at a spot or you have guys at the town because they're all competing it, 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 uh, the motivation handles itself, and so um, we, we have that. Uh, it, we're in a better uh, spot now at DB with that than we've been before. Um, but I think more than it, it's just JC understanding, like being serious about it. He has some goals and what he wants to do, and he has a better understanding now of how to get there. How's the kicking competition going? Yeah, it's it's going good. I mean, we're 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 charting out like crazy. I mean, those guys, everything they do right now is being uh, being measured. I'm not sure they're probably. About sick of it, but uh, you know, so we're, we're going to go through this this scrimmage here, and that'll play a lot into it. We'll put him in some situations. I've been putting him in spots in practice, some pressure on him just to see how they respond. And um, so again, it's been good. I mean, those guys they're making each other better. They're performing. I think we have some good options there. But we're we're going to make a decision on who, who the guy is here in the next you know whatever week or so. Any any new surprises among the young guys and any injuries yet? Um, new surprise? No. You know, knock on wood, we, we're, we're pretty healthy. I mean, you know, the, the normal bumps and bruises at camp, um, but, but nothing major to report of. And uh, I mean, I just, I, our freshman class, I, mean, I can go, go through them man for man. I, I just like they, they have a, a good way about it. Sometimes you bring in a highly touted recruiting class and they, you know, they come in and they don't they don't really live up to that on the field and they, you know, they don't, they're not ready to work. And it's not the case. These guys, they came here ready to work. They're, they're, they're helping on special teams. There's some, you know, they're, they're popping wherever they can, just trying to try to get out there. So um, it's been good. I'm very pleased with them. Coach, with what you've seen in practice so far, do you envision your tight ends potentially being more involved in the uh, passing game than they were last year? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we need them to be. I mean, that, that's, that's a big part of what we try to do offensively. And, um, you know, that was something that, it, yeah, it wasn't, you know, was missing last year at times, not, not very active. So yeah, they definitely were. Let's get back to the Texas question. Will there be a point before that week that you start focusing on that, or is that just more of a week deal? Yeah, we'll start to trick that stuff in before before game week. But um, you know, I, I, I don't I don't think you, you you gain much. I mean, even you know, you look at, at, at bowl prep. I think you, you spend a lot of time on yourself and get your team as good as it can be. You start you know trickling in the, the game time specific, scheme specific stuff as you go. I mean, it really comes on us. We're building for a whole season here, making our team the best we can be right now. Coach, uh, how do you see those juniors on the offensive line gelling right now? Um, it's been good. I mean, our, our, our first unit out there has been, been really solid, really good. I think um, it's a talented group. I, I like where they're at. And so we're certainly we're going to lean on them and count on them to be play big for us. And I think they embrace that. They're, they're enjoying that challenge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.